Well, well, it looks like Ball beat Jesus to the punch with resurrection stories. Seems like the god of storms and fertility was ahead of his time, rising from the dead long before the Son of God decided to make a comeback. Talk about stealing someone's thunder. But let's give credit where credit's due. Both tells make one heck of a yarn. I'm vindicating Dr. Richard Carrier wrote an article about dying and rising God. So I made this really cool documentary little video about this that I thought was interesting. And he talked about how Inanna, this goddess, was, you know, with all this power is kind of lowered or defamed, if you will, taking off, stripped naked, then made into a corpse, then hung on a hook mm -hmm. uh, for three days and three nights, and then is brought back to life or something like three days, something to the same motif we see with Jesus. We see it with Jonah. We see it with other mythologies. Um, is that true? Yeah, I mean, certainly that that particular myth um, about Ishtar and Nana, I talk about in the book. Um, and it's very much her, the goddess's decision that she basically, she wants to take over the underworld. I mean, she's a seriously kick-ass, ambitious goddess. I, I adore her. Um, but she's that idea of her sort of being stripped of all her divine, um, her bling, basically, her accessories. These were more than just kind of decorative items that were worn on divine bodies. A bit like high status human bodies, these were ways of making the body, of rendering a body complete. So by stripping off, you know, her headgear and her necklaces, um, she kind of deliberately diminishes herself because she has to in order to enter the underworld. But yeah, some people think that that's an example of a dying and rising god. Um, it's not quite. I mean, yeah, she's turned into a corpse, um, a kind of like a hunk of meat, basically. So it's about her kind of debasement in very material terms. Um, the whole debate about dying and rising gods is really complicated. I, I think the, the the main ancient Southwest Asian, pre-Christian ancient Southwest Asian myth that we can certainly say is a is a dying and talks about a dying and rising god is a myth myth concerning Baal from Ugarit, so late Bronze Age Syria. Um, the city-state of Ugarit, or, um, the, the modern site name is um, Ras Shamra. And in that, Baal um, is defeated by the, goat, the god Mot, who's the god of death, who swallows him, because um, death is a swallower, uh, which is where we get all that imagery in the Bible about, you know, when the, the ground opens up and swallows kind of idolatrous priests, that's exactly that, what's going on there. The or underworld swallows. Jonah, um, the fish. Yeah, exactly. Jonah being swallowed by the fish, exactly. Um but yeah, with Baal, he is certainly um, dies because his sister Anat and the sun goddess Shapsh go into the underworld to find him and they find his corpse. He's buried in a tomb. And then, yeah, about three days later, he is restored. <laughs> so that, I mean, and, you know, and that is like, like I said, there's very little in the Bible that's um, completely original. <laughs> I love this. Thank you for coming on.